Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and in today's episode we're going to talk about double exposure. We're going to do some really cool uh, double exposure image. Uh, it's quite popular lately, probably because of few TV series. And the one I really like, I was seeing a Yellow Wolf music video and there was really cool double exposure. So in this episode I'm going to try to do something similar to this. So I hope you really enjoy. And before we start, I just want to say a few words about the project I've done lately. If you were watching my previous videos, maybe you noticed I was talking about this before. And the thing I'm talking about is my high-end retouch course I've done. It's really cool stuff, uh, people like it. It's on Skillfint and you can join for a free trial to check out this over four hours uh, course on high-end retouch. It's really cool stuff. You can, As you can see, there's so many lessons about skin correction, about shape lips, eye retouch, sharpening, and of course, dashing and burning. So everything you need to know about high-end retouch course so it's cool video just check out this uh link in the description i'm going to give you a link or you can find this just on skillfit just join for a free trial and watch this course i'm sure you won't be disappointed so let's go back to our today's episode and the first thing when we do double exposure we have to find the right images to do double exposure so i'm going through file and browsing bridge i have really cool model somewhere there so let's see what i have over here as you can see that's the model i was looking for a poor background so it will be very easy to edit and the other image we need we need just some let's say forest some landscapes or even buildings everything what you need um, you can find everywhere probably flowers uh, looks pretty cool so i'm just going to choose something randomly something um, quite universal i'm not sure if i have this kind of image i think for this model buildings would work really great but uh, I'm not sure if uh, these buildings uh, would be good enough. Uh, but yeah, we, we're going to try with this um, New, York, New York Central Park. I think it's in New York. Um, so I'm going to open this image and this model. So the model is opened in camera just open image it's not really important so we we go into i think i opened this twice so yeah as i said before we are going to try to compose these two images into one really cool looking image so what i'm going to do first i'm going to work with the model and by using this quick selection tool i'm just going to select all the area around the model so th this tool is obviously for lazy people so for someone like me but we don't have to be really careful that much in this case when we do double exposure so this tool will be absolutely enough maybe let's work a bit more over here Okay, and when we do the selection, down here I don't want to fix because probably I will cut this image somewhere over here. So select, refine edge to work a bit with the edges. So just paint over the edges to make them look better than right now because as you can see, some areas is not, not really that great. So after we do this, so after we do some of this correction, just press OK. This computer is really slow recently. And after this, just press right and let's cut this part of the image. So we got something like that. And I'm going to create white background. 
so here we are and now we are ready to bring our second image to this project as i'm looking at this now as you i'm not really happy with the clouds over here so i'm just going to find maybe something different and i'm just going to choose randomly forest which always just works okay so let's see the forest it's pretty much green so i believe it's going to work well and i'm just going to move this to this project so place this somewhere like this because as i said before i'm just going to cut out this area uh, it, this image is too big so uh, don't worry about this so now control and hit this layer to do a selection and go down to our forest layer and right now i'm just going to hit right So now I'm just going to hit right and layer via copy is fine. Just I wanted to press layer via cut, but it doesn't really matter. And go back to our layer. And there's few options. Usually it works better when we desaturate the layer, but let's try out first on the colorful layer. And if you are not going to like this, we're just going to adjust this image to look really nice. I'm going to change blending mode for lighten first to see how is it going to look and it looks pretty much weird. So the strategy I'm going to do is to pull down some of the opacity and as you can see right now we can agree it looks actually so so as a colorful image. As I don't want to pull down the desaturate this image too much so i'm just going to try with hue saturation and i'm going to bring down the saturation quite much maybe to the level more than minus 70 and then just create clipping mask on it so create clipping mask so our effect is going to apply only to this area and the same I'm going to do with the colorful, uh, with the background layer, hue saturation to do something suitable, maybe around this. And once again, I'm going to hit right and then create clipping mask. So let's crop this image to make it look a bit better okay and let's zoom this right now so there is few things we can actually correct um can of course pull down a bit more opacity so it looks really really nice however I want to keep some of the part of the face what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this layer this light and layer so control G J and I'm going to change blending mode to normal and then I'm going to bring up opacity then let's create a layer mask and invert the color on the layer mask to pull this up here okay and now we can paint over this area on this layer mask with the color white let's paint over here to bring up some of the natural colors just to make our image satisfying okay 
I think it looks really, really cool right now. Maybe we can take down some of the saturation as well from this. So I'm just going to create clipping mask, of course. And take down some of the saturation. Maybe around this. Well, it looks really cool right now. And of course we can work a bit with the background to find the background we really like. I'm just going to try some random colors right now. Maybe something like uh, this. Looks, looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Maybe we can do some more experiments. Just going to choose color Y, large size of the brush. Maybe going to change the flow down to 50. Okay, I think it looks really cool right now. I like the effect I've done. And of course, if we want to just make double exposure on the highest number of the parts, we want to correct something, we can paint on this layer mask over here with color black. So it's going to bring up, as you can see, double exposure on the rest of the face so that's pretty much done that's our double exposure effect and i think it looks really cool there's many methods all of them are really good and um, but that's my method it's really easy i just cut out the images and blend them together kind of because that's what double exposure is it's about blending images together and of course our final result can be different we can experiment with colors with different textures i can even use this kind of image which I used before, um, as you can see, it has very low opacity. I changed this, this image, which was before I can bring down opacity for a very low like this. So this image looks even much more awesome. I would say uh, we can work with curves to do something really, really amazing on this image. Let's have a look. What, what can we do? It just experiments, of course, right now, just um, showing you how we can get some really nice results, some really nice uh, looks, but now this image is a bit too strong, so I'm going to take down opacity a bit more. Just like this, and let's make it a bit blurry, maybe. I'm just going to try with 15 pixels and right now it likes really cool a bit of psychedelic I would say uh, but I'm happy with the result I've got so as you can see there is many options you can do in double exposure there is many way of work and of course you can experiment so let me know what you think about this let me know if you like double exposure and in general whatever you want so thank you for watching and I see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.